Hey there everyone, Kitty Cat Addict here, aka the Cartoon Kitty, and welcome back to week three of the Star Bomb. Um, we're going to be watching Heinous today, and obviously that implies that Heinous is going to be in this episode. Um, so I, I'm interested to see what will happen, if we'll have a joke about Heinous not believing if Marco is an actual princess or not, uh, and yeah, so yeah, let's, let, let's just go ahead and get into it. Uh, just wanted to start by saying that last week was crazy, this next week is going to be crazy, and just, I'm, uh, this has been so enjoyable, like, I thought that I'd be kind of miserable, like, editing and uploading a whole bunch of reactions, uh, in a week, but I've actually been having a lot of fun with it, probably because it's a really good series, I'm really enjoying it so far, we've got good bombshells, good secrets and everything, I'm wanting more, so, yeah, and it's kind of sad that it's going to be ending so soon because then it means we have to wait for another long hiatus, but at the same time it's also good because it means that the show's going to last longer. So, I mean, it's like a happy medium, not really happy medium. Um, but, yeah, I've been having fun talking with everyone, like, on uh, uh, Tumblr, Mino, Twitter, things like that. So, yeah, um, just wanted to point that out. Uh, thank you guys so much for being with me, by the way. 4K, we've hit... 4,000 subscribers on the channel, and that's like 900 plus since Starbomb began, so that's insane. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the episode here. You can get these on iTunes, um, HDSD helps support the series, helps support the creators, and let them keep doing what they love. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. Also, the wind is insane outside, my gosh. You, can, you probably can't hear it, but it's like super insane outside. The whirlwinds of chaos are coming. <laughs> okay. Uh, for, for real now, let's get this started. Oh my gosh, it's a tiny little car. Oh, huh. Oh. Okay, so his name's Gemini, I like that. Also, poor Rostcore. I, I, I wish he comes back. Okay, that's creepy. Whoa! What? Um, part of me is very disturbed, and the other part of me is very glad. Um, okay. This isn't good. Ah, this isn't good. But it's good because it means Rastacores might be coming back. Okay, that was not like that before. Okay, here's the plan. I'll cover the back door, and on my mark, you bum the front door. Got it. Ah. Phone, shush. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, you two. Hold on. I don't think we're gonna have a battle here. Super cute new haircut. <laughs> 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 that lady tied me to a chair and tried to brainwash me. The 
That's a gross exaggeration. Uh huh. No, it's not. Terribly wrong to me, and I'm not going anywhere until justice is served. Oh boy. But if she doesn't leave, then how are we going to have dinner with the Morrisons? Oh, the Morrisons are so cool. We've been on the wait list to have them over for months. Oh, this dinner needs to be perfect. We can't mess it up. Wow. That sounds really tough, guys. You're going to resolve whatever issue you have with Miss Haynes <laughs> right now. I feel so bad for Mark. <laughs> Face, oh my gosh. Is your issue with Marco? Gemini. Yep, here we go. The headmistress of St. Olga's, the most esteemed princess school in the multiverse. Shut up, woman! Where delinquent princesses were taught manners and respect. Until one day, an insolent princess showed up and inspired all the students to rebel against their elders who knew better. Princess Marco left. But the school was They made her the face of a revolution. Oh my gosh, Marco! princesses with her devious ways. Wait a minute, you have merchandise? Yeah, I get a six hundred and fifty dollar royalty check. Oh, that explains the money. Lost all respect for authority. Soon they were cutting. That explains the money. Even inviting the boys from the neighboring Prince Reform School, they threw me out. And now I live in a car. Oh. Don't touch me. <laughs> and it's all thanks to Princess Marco and her little sidekick, Princess Butterfly. Marco, is this all true? Well, yeah, but that place was a prison. Those princesses were being oppressed. They're way happier now. And they blew up my bodyguard. Yeah, we were wondering what that was. <laughs> He's my dear, sweet Rastacor. This is just his arm, but he's part lizard, so his whole body will grow back soon. And then he'll be a big boy, won't you, sweetie? I ah. Uh, so how shall we proceed? I can't tell if I should ship it or if it's a mother son type thing. Well, we annihilate her and display her skeleton as a warning against any further insurrection. Agree? Good. Now, Rastacor, bring me Princess Marco's bones. Yes, it is. Uh oh. Just in time. That lady is trying to destroy me. And that trollish looking guy, man, thing. Is totally helping her. Uh, just ignore the girl pointing the magic wand. And it's probably a lesser charge, but this severed lizard arm is complicit too. Well, that's something, all right. Now, if you'll all stay calm, I'm sure we can clear this up right now. Oh boy. Okay, I got a call about a car double parked, but, uh, since the wheels of the top car ain't on the ground, uh, that's not my jurisdiction. What? That's it? You're gonna ignore all the evil going on? Evil? Evil? Evil! Oh, that doesn't look dangerous. It's one of those animations, right? What? Um, animatronic. Oh. Listen, kid, once there's a real crime, give me a call. Marco, don't you dare try to do something right, stupid. Bargaining begin. I leave if you let me rip out Princess Marco's spine and wear it as a fancy scarf. Oh, gosh. Okay, that seems a little extreme. Honey, we really don't have time for this. The Morrisons are going to be here soon and we haven't even picked out the placemats. Uh, um, what if we ground Marco for a week? Or uh, you let me grind her bones into a pulp? Um, you... We won't let Marco play video games. Do you even know how bargaining works? No pizza on Fridays. <laughs> or you can let me disappear. Come on, Marco. We make him do the dishes. Yeah. What if I just apologize? An apology? Yes. <laughs> An apology will suffice under certain conditions. Oh. <sighs> Marco, you can't give up that easy. I'll do anything to get Heinous out of here. Whatever you want, Miss Heinous, just name it. <laughs> it is criminal to be an individual. Can I say whatever. <laughs> Oh. Revenge. See what those princesses think of their idol now. I can't believe our son led a revolution and we didn't even know. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be mad or proud. Oh, hang on, hang on. <gasps> the princess can't go on camera without blush. Dude, don't do this. All those princesses, like, really look up to you. I know. If I know a thing or two about princesses, it's going to take a lot more than some dumb video to break their spirits. Oh, Margo. Aww. Uh. Sorry. The blush, the blush kind of looks weird, but. Just be careful. Gemini, are you ready yet? Yes, my lady. And we're rolling. Uh, hey, princesses of the multiverse. It's your girl, Marco. What asked? Morrison's. Anyway, last 
time I was at St. Ogle School, I said and did some stuff that I shouldn't have. And that was bad. And uh, I just wanted to say, um, I just wanted to say that I'm like super sorry that I told you guys to resist your oppressors and stuff. As princesses, we should never think for ourselves and just, you know, give up on our dreams and our own individuality. <laughs> I mean all this from the bottom of my heart, and I'm definitely not just saying that because Miss Heinous is threatening me and my family. Okay, was that good? Milady, I have notes. <laughs> it's perfect! She's too happy. She's too happy. We just want to apologize again for Marco's behavior. Yes, we hope this can be a fresh start for all of us. Hmm. We shall see. Maybe this will inspire you to take a more active role in your child's life. Well then! Safe travels! Well, this was a real eye-opener. What else have you been hiding from us? Now is the time to own up to any other interdimensional chicanery. Oh, no, 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 chicanery. No, uh-uh. Uh -uh. mm -mm. We have some responsibility to accept, too. Maybe we haven't been around enough for the two of them. We can start fresh tonight. I say we cancel dinner with the Morrisons and instead have a family game night. Yay! Family game nights. Who needs to hang out with the Morrisons anyway? But the Diazes are so cool. Aww. There you are, my lady. Pillows flop just the way you like it. She dreams. And sweet dreams to you too, Princess Martha, the fairest in the land. Okay. Soon the multiverse will shiver in fear once I destroy Princess Marco and Princess Butterfly. With you at my side, Rastakor. Why, Rastakor, you broke an elbow. You'll be a big boy again soon. So very soon. Um. 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 Um, um, um. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Oh, heinous just got a lot creepier. Oh, boy. What the heck was that? Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Well, the good news is, the good news is, Roscoe is most likely going to be coming back because he is regenerating, albeit slowly, but he's still regenerating, which is really good because I really want him to come back because I really liked him in the one episode he was in but like does is he is he like heinous's son like quote unquote her son or like does she treat him like a son or are they lovers like I'm not sure I got the feeling of lovers at first and then it kind of turned into a mother-son type thing so I don't know it's kind of creepy um I suppose we'll see eventually. Uh, and then, oh, okay, Gemini, uh, back off, man. You're kind, you're kind of creeping me out with the whole Princess Marco thing. Yeah. Uh, but that was definitely less climactic than I thought it would be. Um, no real fight. It was more of a discussion type thing. And Marco confessing he did the wrong thing, which I'm, I think Hanus was, I think Hanus has spent way too much time uh, in solitude with her lizard man's arm just because it's like uh okay you're, you're you're not noticing these simple basic things and you kind of are acting pretty insane um and we don't know anything more about her cheek marks other than she probably is related to the butterflies because they're the only ones who actually have those cheek marks so we still have a lot of questions about her the team's doing an excellent job in keeping so many answers from us and i am so curious about everything and i really want to know everything and i just want to know it now but we're not going to know until maybe even next season we may not know until next season which would be kind of sad but at the same time it means we have something to look forward to so yeah that was that was an interesting episode um kind of creepy <laughs> if i'm honest if i'm completely honest well, if you guys enjoyed this video and this episode, leave a like down below. Let me know what you think in the comments, all your theories and whatnot, because I love hearing them. And I'll see all you guys tomorrow in the next video that we do. Peace, guys!